Well, let's talk more about that. Omar Omadi, a Syrian political expert and the deputy director of the Centre for Syrian Studies at St Andrews University here in the UK, joins me now. Uh, Omar, good to have you with us. So we're seeing this ramping up of rhetoric now. Uh, President Trump uh, tweeting extraordinarily uh, to yes. Russia, get ready, they will be coming. So it does all point to an imminent yes. military operation. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, you know, if you go back just around a week ago, you know, we we're talking about uh, the Americans withdrawn from Syria. And now suddenly we, we have this, you know, an amazing dramatic turnaround. And, and of course, uh, so charged and loaded with this, uh, you know, political, you know, implications, even emotional as far as Syrians are concerned. You know, there's, there's so much at stake now. And, and uh, we wait and see how this unfolds. I mean, how, how are Syrians? Do we know how Syrians, ordinary Syrians, are reacting to all of this. Right. Well, to the millions of Syrians who, who've watched their government, their own government, you know, engage in, uh, you know, indiscriminate killing, arrests, torture, uh, evacuations um, over the last seven years, you know, this is the first time they've actually seen anyone willing to stand up in such a forceful way, not only to the Syrian um, regime, but also um, to, to Russia. Uh, this is unprecedented. So, of course, it, it does uh, evoke a lot of e emotions, you know. Th th there is this anticipation, it is this, uh, the hope that, you know, this nightmare could possibly end. But, of course, as, as analysts, we, we watch, you know, with far more caution. We, we, we understand that these, these types of events can, can go in various different directions. So. Well, I mean, this is the problem. You've also got France and Britain also looking at uh, the military options. Yes. Uh, Britain is being a lot more cautious about yes. it. it. It wants to see yes. evidence yes, of course. about a chemical strike before it goes right. ahead. But here's the thing. If you launch a military operation, you go in, you hit some targets, you come out, it yes. hasn't actually solved the problem, has it? No, no, of course it hasn't. And, and uh, th there's a difference between a disciplinary, you know, strike and between, you know, we, some sources are speaking of, a sustained assault. So, so there, you know... It depends on the exact objective. Is the objective here to teach uh, the, the regime a lesson? Of course, we, we know these regimes are not, uh, they, they don't learn such lessons. They, they, in fact, it become, they become adamant that, you know, demonstrating that they, they will repeat this again and again because, you know, they, they can't look small within, you know, their, their local um, audience, so to speak. And on the other hand, you know, if this is a sustained uh, assault, then, then uh, the, you know, there's so much risks involved, of course, and on the... Uh, the level of escalation. Uh, and the risk of Russia of getting course. involved because absolutely. the lower level official uh, has uh, said that, that they would target the U.S. launch sites. Yes, 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 of course. And, and how sad it is that we, it would come to this, you know, that we were, you know, all hoping for some type of, you know, historic settlement, some type of, you know, U.N. Security Council resolution that, you know, can truly unleash a political process that can bring Syria out of this nightmare into something else. But uh, here we are and... Um, it's, it's a dramatic moment, and, and uh, I guess we, we need to wait and, and, and we need watch to see carefully. Exactly yes. how this plays forward. Yes. Uh, Omar, thank you very much indeed thank for that. Thank you for having me. Thank you.